Hi, I would like to thank you for downloading OpenRPA and trying out the OpenAIP stack. So when you download the installer for OpenRPA, you can download it here. This will always get the latest version. Or you can go to releases and you can see what releases there's been, what changes there's been. Uh, often it will be a pre-release uh, with new features coming up. Um, but once you've done that, you can run the installer. Uh, um, first, you will be prompted to select whether you want to install just for your user. That means that the files will be placed in your user profile. Um, or you can install it for everybody at the machine. So if the program will be installed in program files. Um, if you decide to install in program files, the installer will ask for administrative privileges because that is needed in order to do that. Next, you can decide if you want to customize the installer. There are certain modules that doesn't get installed by default, like Java or Mainframe, uh, SAP and so on. Um, this is mostly because uh, some extension will put an overhead on the recorder and the detector framework. Um, and especially uh, things that needs to be running in order to work can slow it down, like the SAP uh, installer, for instance, uh, SAP extension. Uh, but generally speaking, it doesn't harm installing anything. It's just don't do it if you don't need it. Um, and then you install. So once you have installed it, we can run the program. And this will make the robot connect to my version of OpenFlow running in the cloud. You can use that for free with certain limitations. If you decide to install OpenFlow yourself, there is absolutely no limitations at all. Like uh, it's open source, you can run it wherever you want. Um, the robot is asking us to log in using the browser. So by default, it, it will open the default browser and it will try to ask you to log in. Um, if you want to use the robot in offline mode, you can go into documents, open APA, open settings and remove this URL. You need to close the robot first and then remove it here and the robot will be in offline mode. But if you want to have access to databases, running Node-RED, having uh, online backup and all of these things, you probably want to keep this. So once we do that, we can log in and create our user. So the first thing that happens is that we get prompted to give a little bit of information about ourselves. Uh, um, the, the important thing is that you can tell here that you are not interested in getting marketing emails. I haven't sent anything yet, but maybe someday I will. I don't know. But for now, um, you can decide if you want that. Um, next, you need to validate your email address. Um, for a long time, I didn't check this, um, but there's been so many bogus accounts doing bad things. I'm tired of it. So. This puts a little bit more hassle on everyone and makes things a lot easier. So you will get an email with a code that you need to validate. Use that code to validate that you received the email and thereby you gave me a, a correct email. Um, if you didn't get it, try resending and check your spam folder. Um, if you typed in the wrong email address because you don't want to share it, you can go back here and change it to whatever you want and it will send a new validation code to that email address. Um, if you do that, it's a new code. You need to use the new code. So um, you just validate it and you're in. And in the background, the robot should now pick up. Yeah, so my recording took a little too long. Um, so the token expired. So you just click cancel. You run open RPA again and it will reopen a browser with a new token to get a token. <laughs> um, and now the robot should initialize. So, come on, there we go. So once the robot is opened, you it creates a default project with a default workflow. Um, and inside here, you can now st start automating. Um, yeah. 
there are plenty of videos and documentation out there. Um, and, and if you are at any point in doubt, uh, simply drag in the, the activity you're interested in, select it and press F1 and you will be redirected to the help page for that specific uh, activity and you can read more about it. I wish you good luck and thank you for downloading it.